considering learning her, so you want to get to know her more and find out if she's right for me. So we're here at the stables now. We're just about to go get to see her from the field. She can be a bit naughty coming in from the field though because uh, last week we spent about, or not last week, a few days ago, spent about half an hour trying to get her in from the field. So we are hoping she's going to be good today. So let's go get her. Tiffy can be difficult to catch. Building a new relationship with a pony starts on the ground. As herd animals who live in groups, horses and ponies have a social structure that includes an established leader who directs the herd. I want to establish myself as the leader so that Tiffy feels that she can trust me and follow my lead. Grooming your pony not only cleans off the dirt from the field but also helps you to check your pony over for injuries or sensitive areas. Ponies also groom each other to show affection so grooming also helps you to bond with your pony. So now I'm using the dandy brush to get all this hair off and the little flicks of dirt. I got up from the rubber coating. So now I'm using a body brush. I'm going to use this to get some of these ugly grass stains off her legs. It seems like she's been doing these slides. It's like checking the tyres on your car. Frog is the most sensitive part of the hoof, so you have to be really careful not to scrape the centre of the hoof. Be careful to scrape the mud downwards, or you might end up flicking it in your face. I sprayed some conditioner on Tiffy's tail before holding it to brush. If you brush from top to bottom, the hair can be pulled out and this can thin the tail. I started with some groundwork exercises. Hunt. Good girl. Walk on. Good girl. Training your pony to lead properly will help them pay attention to you and your body language. The proper position for leading is having the nose parallel to your arm not ahead or behind it. <laughs> a pushy horse can easily send a lead rope burning through your hand if they suddenly decide to lunge for some grass. If you pick up your pace, then they should too, and should stop when you say halt.
As you can see, Tiffy tries to get in front of her after I loosened off the ring, so I moved in closer to re-establish the connection. The next groundwork exercise I tried was to get Tiffy to stand still. This is to establish your authority in the relationship. They could walk off or drag you along if they don't respect your authority. For this exercise, you'll need to stand face to face with your horse and stand at the end of the lead ring. And halt! Good girl! This took a few tries, but once Tiffy was able to stand still, I applied pressure to the lead rope and signalled for her to step towards me. And halt! Good girl! Yes, 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 yes! Muffin. The third exercise I did was to see how Tiffy would flex and soften to pressure. I am still working this technique out, so it's not perfect. We are using this exercise to teach her to respond to the pressure on the bit. We first use a halter, bringing the rope up by the withers. And then as soon as Tiffy responds and turns, the pressure is released. Applying downwards pressure helps to teach the horse to soften. Once the head goes down, the pressure is released as a reward. Arching the horse's neck into the contact will help them to carry themselves properly without pulling on the bit and relying on the rider to hold them up. The last exercise was lunging both in walk and in trot. This usually helps in getting out any excess energy, loosening stiff joints or correcting bad behaviour. In the wild, the alpha horse corrects behaviour by making the other horse move its feet. So by lunging out bad behaviour, you are re-establishing your authority. Make the circle a bit bigger. Look up. Have a little stretch. Walk on. When riding Tiffy. I warmed her up in the same way I do with Blaze and Bobby, using direct and progressive transitions. I also wanted to do some transitions within the pace to make sure that my extended shot didn't turn into a canter. Using dressage moves keeps Tiffy's mind active so she cannot preempt what I'm going to do. Trotting in circles also helps me to work on my steering and see how responsive she is. We did a canter before changing direction and doing the same transitions on the left rein.
Very good, Layla. Okay, circle and then transitions in the pace, maybe. So a bit slow, slower rise and collected. But do a circle first on this rein. Off in council without me asking on the left rein. Did you ask? Yeah, are you telling it to stop? I tried to slim my truck down, keep it controlled, and hold her back until I gave her the signal. But she just went without me asking. Just slow rise. Listen, Tiffy. Right, halt. It has happened a few times now. So when we came back around to the same corner, I asked for halt. You can see how she fidgets and wants to go. I then asked for a slow trip, but once again, she took off with me. She was very strong, despite me pulling back, and I thought that tugging her might just send me flying. So I sat back in my seat and pulled back until she slowed. In hindsight, I should have held her back into walk and asked for canter at the other end of the arena. I cooled her down with some more in-hand bleeding. She's a very pretty mare, so I hope things work out and we can have some fun together. Please consider subscribing for more Pony Adventures.